In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make architectural cinematic modes in Photoshop to turn this boring perspective into this amazing one. Let's jump in! So, the first thing, I'm going to, turn, to drag this picture into Photoshop. Now, what I would do first is to add something to the sky. So I'm going to go to edit here and go to sky replacement. What I'm going to do is to change the sky into a similar one to the, to, to the original perspective. Okay, right here. As you can see, I'm going to adjust it just a little bit. For example, I'm going to decrease the brightness. Uh, okay, that, that's totally fine. I'm going to hit OK because I'm not going to keep it like this. I'm going to go there select the folder and bring the opacity to zero and then start to increase it just a little bit i just want to see you see those little uh, clouds right here i just want them to appear right there okay i don't care about the rest of the sky or the other elements the second thing is i'm going to hit the ctrl shift alt e on my keyboard in order to create a totally a new picture that has merged everything below now i'm going to go to filter blur and motion blur i'm going to add these mo motion blur right here for for the moving people and cars so i'm going to pick my uh distance right here i'm going to hit ok now all i want to do is to go to the mask okay bring up the mask right here i'm going to select it and hit ctrl i in order to invert the mask because i want to only uh, paint over specified areas right here like for example for this man and a couple of people and those moving cars so i'm going to select the mask as well i'm going to go to brush i'm going to choose the opposite color of the mask which is white since the mask is black so i'm going to choose a normal brush right here from general brushes let's make it smaller a little bit and start painting over the areas that you want to show that they, they are moving for example this one right here I'm going to paint this guy right here also some couple of people right here from there as well maybe this one here this one here and this car for example maybe yeah this one here this one as well and yeah that's it this is everything about the moving uh, or motion block now let's bring some effects like so for example the car trays right here i'm going to drag it to photoshop let's make it bigger a little bit and let's uh, resize it like this hold the shift in order to compress it this way okay i'm going to make it taller for example hold the alt and the shift just like that okay double click that's it this is our picture actually i'm going to apply the screen mode on it as you can see and i'm going to delete those edges actually i'm going to go to normal first of all we have to rasterize this one rasterize it and then go to eraser right here and let's only erase the uh, edge right here let's make it faded let's make the hardness zero and delete the edge right here as you can see and yes that's it i'm going to create another one hold the alt key and uh, drag it now this one i'm going to color it with the uh, cyan color how can i do this hit the ctrl u in order to go to hue saturation now hit the colorize and go to cyan right here and then bring the saturation to almost the middle now hit ok select both of these layers and go to screen or first of all you, you may uh, merge them ctrl e to merge them first and then go to screen mode right there now i'm going to ctrl t let me just take it right here i'm going to compress it just a little bit more now hold the ctrl and drag from this edge right here till the end and there you can make it smaller a little bit and here you can make it uh, wider as you can see in order to be like realistic and shift it to the uh, core right here okay great now i'm going to take the eraser I'm going to erase these areas right here for example 
Now let's make the opacity of it like 30% in order to make this fading effect. We don't want to remove everything like uh, totally. I'm going to remove only from these areas right here. Like we just want to keep it like a little bit free. Okay, now well, that's it. This is everything about the culture. As you may add another one right there, maybe, and make it smaller. For example, just like that. And I'm going to remove the rest of it. Just like the other one. Yeah, that's it. We just created these two right here. We can merge them all together and then again choose screen mode. Now this is the color trace. Now let's add something related to this sun right here. We can add uh, maybe this flare right over here. Let's rotate it and make it bigger like that. Okay. Hit the enter key. Now go to normal mode, go to screen. Now I'm going to remove these ones right here, these uh, watermarks. Uh, right click, rasterize so we can be able to erase it. Let's bring back the opacity to 100 and let's remove these right here. And we are totally set. Now I want to make the color, like I want to match it with the colors of my perspective. So I'm going to go to control U. Also hit the colorize and the choose maybe uh, something uh, near to orange. Let's increase the saturation and okay that's it. You can decrease the opacity a little bit in order to make it like a slight effect. We don't want it to be like uh, totally sharp. Okay. So this is the other. So the other thing I would add for the sun, I'm going to go from here and add gradient. Okay, I'm going to choose the radial, radial one and increase the scale right here. Let's bring our sun to here maybe. Okay, so we are just creating the sun haze or something. Now we can go to gradient. Let's choose this color. Let's choose it like um, um, near to orange as well. It's okay, and the other one also near to yellow actually. Let's go from here to there, and okay. Now, all you have to do is to apply screen mode on it. Let's bring the opacity to zero and then increase it just a little bit until we are satisfied with it. Okay, this is everything. Now, we're going to add some other uh, effects to the cars. Actually, we're going to add these uh, lights right there, maybe. Let's rotate it and rescale it. Okay, now let's rasterize it and pick the eraser. Let's remove the edges. You can do this like repeatedly. Then choose screen mode. Okay, this is amazing. Uh, let's just place them uh, on these cars lights. Whenever you want to uh, copy something, you just have to make sure that you are picking the move tool and go to that layer right here. Maybe for example, you can hold the alt key and then take this one and drag and you will notice that it's copying the layer to another one. Okay, as you can see, let's make this right here. Now, all I'm going to do is, so maybe we can copy one right there. It's going to be smaller, I guess. Okay, great, this is amazing. Now I'm going to click this one, select it, hold the shift and select the last one in order to select everything in between. Then Ctrl E to merge them all together and as always apply screen mode to them just to make it look like a real light. The next step is to merge everything. I'm going to Ctrl Shift Alt E, but everything to a new layer as you can see. Now this stage I'm going to call it uh, maybe sorry. I'm going to select them all and call it stage one. Now I'm going to take this one and hit the Ctrl Shift A in order to go to Camera Row Filter which is the last step of this post-production. So I'm going to hover over here as you can see Browse Profiles. I'm going to go here, go to Modern and there is a really amazing filter. You can choose either this one or that one right here. Actually for me both works 
for for the purpose of this tutorial so i'm going to choose the other one since it's sharper than that one so i'm going to choose the modern 08 i'm going to go back to basics and make other adjustments like for example i'm going to go to basic right here i'm going to increase the exposure just a little bit in order to make it like lighter and uh, the shadows i'm going to decrease them a little bit and i'm going to increase the texture and the clarity in order to as you can see to make it sharper okay and i'm going to decrease a little bit the vibrance because i don't like the sharp colors or something now the last thing is going to be the effects go to effects and we're going to add vision thing like here uh drag the very left uh, maybe that's too much yeah this is great now i'm going to hit okay as you can see we have done this per perspective like uh, very well my last touch is going to be a new layer and i'm going to add some glow effect which is going to to be added manually i'm going to pick the brush tool and choose another color close to orange for example right here and let me just paint over the air, the light areas or the reflection areas right here maybe and here here as you can see where the sun ref uh, where the glass reflects the sun maybe a little bit right here here some couple kind of points and as you can see these lines you see these white areas right here i'm going to take advantage of them in order to add more glow for the picture and make it look more realistic and more cinematic also for these buildings right here i'm going to add some right here here and some points over here okay and we are all set i'm going to go to no mode you're either going to choose uh maybe soft light or screen or overlay the best one is going to be a screen as of always let's decrease the opacity and then increase it just a little bit at a time in order you feel like you have glow over here okay let's turn it off and turn it on and see the difference between before and after so this is everything for this tutorial guys we we totally went from here to there in just a couple of clicks so this is everything for this tutorial guys how to make cinematic mode in photoshop for any architectural perspective and if you find this video useful for you please hit that like button and share this video with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel and wait for the other post-production tutorials Listen.